Britain's favourite dancing brothers, welcome to the virtual playlist. Hey, Lauren. How are you? I'm um, great, thank you. Now, listen, I know that you are pretty successful, you know, from dancing to TV presenting, a little bit like me. Yeah, nice, yeah, nice. Something nice. like that. The so question is, are you looking for another sibling to join the group? No. Uh, sorry, I think I answered that too quick. Possibly in the distant future. There you go. That's more like it, Joel. We're talking, what, like six months? Years. Drop you an email? Years. You've written a book. How did that come about? Well, we sort of just went, why not? Listen, I don't want to spoil it, but can you give us like a little taste about what it's about? Yes. Two brothers who have a dance group, then out of nowhere, alien invasion. And then basically the fly high crew they have to battle their way through, battle the aliens, save the grown ups, save the parents. It's a lot of fun. It sounds out of this world. Oh. I respect that. Let's play a challenge right now. You up for it? Yeah, let's do it. Right, Jordan and Ashley, you are fictional writers now, so I reckon you're pretty good at making stuff up. We have got a list of statements, some of which are true, but some of which are naughty little lies. We're going to read them to each other, and we've just got to guess who is liar liaring. Are you ready? Let's do it. Do it. I once won £150,000 with my trivia knowledge. Interesting. OK, I'm going to test some of your trivia knowledge right now. Let's go. I want answers, and I want them quick. Let's go. What is the biggest animal? All in the world. Aubergine. Mm. Ashley, <laughs> Ashley, Ashley, help me out here. Any other questions? Capital of Italy. Biro pens. Mm. 150,000, was it? 150,000 pounds, yeah. I'm gonna say that is a big fat lie. Ooh. It was true. True. What? How did you manage to do that? Do you know what? It was just a bunch of random questions which somehow I just knew the answers to. And I'm not going to lie, I guessed about four or five of them, but I managed, I managed to win that money. Not for myself, for a charity. Are you kidding? I know, I'm not going to lie, no one was more surprised than me. My lockdown hair got to me so badly, it was so long and so unmanageable, that I decided to take matters into my own hands. And I think... I did quite a good job, you know. What's the lie? The story or the evaluation of your skills? Do you know what? That was impolite. <laughs> I regret every second of getting these boys on. <laughs> so I just sort of, like, whacked up in a ponytail and just went... Pew. No, I'm not sure, because if he would have done that, it would be so uneven. And that's actually a good trim. I'm calling it an absolute lie. Lies. That's incorrect, because I did it myself, and look how <laughs> great it looks. It's good. Well done, Lauren. It looks great. Fantastic. Oh, guys. It's a rollercoaster of emotions, this interview. <laughs> <laughs> when Jordan and I released the book, the UK Space Agency actually got in touch and wanted to basically work together on our sequel. So the UK Space Agency, or UXA, as I like to call them, uh, they, they got in contact. His name's Greg. He's the manager down there. He actually said, look, Jordan, Ash, I would love to have you guys as astronauts. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going down there at UXA that you need no, to check out. <laughs> but, um... Stop calling it that! This is one big lie. But that is correct, yes. OK, so I actually really loved the concept of your book because I... I indeed spotted a UFO a few years ago and I actually do believe in aliens. A UFO? So you spotted the aircraft? Yeah. It was almost like a shooting star. It went like, phew, like that. But it was in dots. It was like, ba 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 ba. Maybe it was stars. <laughs> oh no. It sort of made a noise as well. Okay. What's the noise like? Can you, can you give us a little preview? Yes. It was high pitched, unworldly, not of this earth. And it kind of went like, <laughs> <laughs> I think this is true. All oh, right, I'm going to go false. That is a truth. Because mm. I did see a UFO, it, I couldn't explain it, and I believe in, wow. in aliens now ever since. It's weird. I never imagined a UFO to sound like stubbing your toe underwater, but now, <laughs> now I know that it does, so that's great. <laughs> OK, so what I've learned from today is never trust an alien and also never trust a banjo brother either. No.